guys, so uh, Matt from Super Deluxe Fan, I uh, was kind of curious what I keep in my car. This is some, you know, internet trend that's going around, and because I'm always keeping up with trends, you know, I thought I'd make a little video show what I always like to make sure is in my car, uh, you know, pretty much just so that I'm safe in any scenario. So let's just kind of work through. Uh, so I've got here a Ferrari hat. That's uh, just because my other car is a Ferrari. Looking good. I also keep a uh, cowboy hat in here just in case someone pulls a gun on me. I mean, seriously, who's going to pull a gun on someone wearing a cowboy hat? Uh, so I've got this uh, gas mask here. This is just in case there's any uh, Volkswagens driving around me. Oh, Hold on, Volkswagen. Let me get that for you. I've got some uh, lip gloss. This isn't mine. Tara? What? Another bobby pin? Ooh, I also keep some uh, fossils in here. Try and guess what this is. That is dinosaur poop. Yeah, pretty gross. And there's this one. This is a fish uh, that was found in Wyoming. And uh, it's a fish with poop. It says it right there on the label. With poop. Uh, six bucks. You know, pretty crazy that you can get a fish, uh, you know, fossilized 50 million years old from Wyoming uh, with a piece of poop in it for six bucks. You know, this fish never knew that it was going to be on the internet. Uh, probably a little bit degrading and embarrassed, you know, that it only sold for six bucks. And most of that was probably just for the poop anyways. I also keep a hammer with me. Uh, this was Jeremy Clarkson inspired. So I like to keep these uh, binocular caps with me. Uh, this is just in case there's any PT cruisers driving nearby. And it's also pretty good. Uh, it's pretty much just as effective at determining whether or not a BMW driver is going to be uh, changing lanes or not with these bad boys on. Uh, I keep this model uh, forklift with me. Uh, that's just in case anyone needs a lift. I also uh, I like to keep this Mobile One trophy with me. Just kind of, you know, reminds me that I'm good at something. Stud finder. Looks like I'm off the charts, ladies. I also like to keep stuff in here uh, just in case I end up going on a road trip. So I've got this little uh, Subaru road kit, a uh, little pack going on. I've got some uh, vegetable oil in case I head to the south. Uh, I've got some bottled water in here in case I'm traveling through California. Um, I've got some uh, deodorant in case I'm passing through Oregon. I don't think they sell uh, deodorant in Oregon. Oh, and also a uh, container of uh, syringes. That's uh, just to keep the anti-vaxxers away. Let's see, what else do I have in here? Oh, I've got another pair of these uh, binocular covers. This is in case I'm traveling through West Virginia. And just in case I may end up uh, crossing the Atlantic, I like to keep a bag of crisps with me. Uh, but in all honesty, I mean, the only thing I actually keep in here is uh, just a phone mount and a phone charger. I'm always getting lost, so I just use my phone for navigation. Uh, but that'd be pretty boring to talk about if this is the only thing in my car. Oh, and, uh, you know, a big bottle of Cholula, because seriously, this stuff's great on everything. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. So apparently I'm supposed to tag some people to show us what's in their car, because clearly that's what everyone cares about. And so Charles, I tag you. You know who you are, Charles. Show us what's in your car. And I'm also curious what that guy from Engineering Explained keeps in his Integra. So maybe he could hook us up with a video.